Far Z. My name's Stan. This is Lewis from All Industrial Supply. Uh, they had some stuff on the counter that kind of caught my eye. This is a chick vise and a little pallet system. It's a very unique vise, and it. Uh, I, I, I sat there and played with it for about 10 minutes before Lewis came over and said, hey, let me show you around that thing. So I'm going to get on the other side of the counter and, and uh, turn, turn it over to him and you know let him go through the pallet, show you how the pallet mounts to your machine, how the vise mounts to the pallet, and some of the unique features on this vise. Um, never saw one before, but I thought you guys might be interested. So uh, uh, take it away, Lewis. All right. All right. So we're going to start with the pallet system. This is a small display piece. This one is actually aluminum. The real deal is going to be Mehanite cast iron. That's the same stuff as the base casting on your on your machine. All the different locating pins. They have some round, kind of flat, round with some flats on it and then diamond. And then they also have square, which we don't have. All of these red plugs are removable. And to insert these, you just drop them in, grab this little tool as well, hold it in place, tighten up the set screw, use the other side for the other shape, and tighten them up, and they don't come out. They're stuck. So those expand kind of like a little collet or a little, exactly, a little, a little yeah. mandrel. It's like an expanding collet. When you tighten that screw up, there's a wedge in there that forces the outside of it out to grip the inside of this bore. And these are kind of hardened, uh, like, yeah. dr like drill bushings. It, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Even in the Mehanite cast iron ones, the, they're bushing. So you're not stuck with the cast iron. There are bushings that are press fit in. Not really field serviceable, but I've never had somebody booger one up. Nice. And then you can plug them, keep your chip and coolant and stuff out of there. Mm -hmm. And then this vise, if you look on the back of it, there are locating pins. It'll drop onto this for whatever machine center you have. Let's say you've got a Haas VF2, DMG Mori, Doosan. It doesn't matter. They have the foundation for your machine vertical, horizontal, and then these pins locate on these and they make it real easy to do it job after job because it's gridded out just like Battleship. A1, C3, so it's a real easy note to make in your program. Got it. Okay, nice. And then now, how does that, that vice locates on the pins, but how do we hold it down? It's got machined slots in both sides the full length for tow clamps. Okay. These holes are on a grid pattern. That's a very easy grid pattern. And they just tow clamp right in. Then the beauty of this vise, this is a vise they call the one lock. Okay. It's a movable job. So it slides all the way back and forth. Okay. And what a lot of people like, your front jaw is your fixed jaw, not your rear jaw. The rear jaw so that would be next to the operator. We do all our indexing off of exactly. there. Exactly. It's closer to the operator, and there's not a whole lot of movement. You get about three quarters of an inch inch movement, so you're not wasting time winding the thing in, winding it out. Okay. It's easy. The soft jaws are carvable. That set screw. Let's get in on that. Hang on. Okay. I mean, uh, all right. Go ahead. So this set screw, you pull that set screw out. You can see the locking mechanism in the back of the jaw. Okay. So this jaw comes off and is carvable. One of the big factors everybody likes about these systems, there's no cap screws. Oh, gotcha. All right, so that's smooth in there. We've it's got smooth. all that room to... Uh, yeah. You don't have, like on a Kurt, you don't have to worry about hitting your cap screw making your jaw. Gotcha. You can make them deeper. And they sell these taller, wider, and I guess this would be deeper. Okay, so that that's our soft jaws that we can. Uh, mach yeah. They're machinable. They, do they also have hard jaws? They do. They okay. have hard jaws and they have steel soft jaws as well. Nice. So and, and that then, vice looks to have a that bed looks hardened. Correct. The bed is hardened in ground, and then these are aluminum, okay. which makes them light. Yeah, you're tossing you know, that around yeah. like it's not even there. Yeah, it's not like trying to carry around an 80 pound vise. Gotcha. The whole vise assembly, I would guess is about 60 pounds. 
Maybe. Uh, that's a lot That's a lot lighter than a Kurt. Yeah, that's about 20 pounds lighter than your average vice. Well, it's kind of nice. The bed, we don't have that groove down the middle. Correct. Yeah, no, you're no coolant, no, no chips. Chip, no yep. coolant. Makes it real easy to blow off, load the next part in. Well, our parts are going to stay nice and parallel. Yep. So parallelism is there. Pardon bed, because it, it looks like it's like a plate on top. Yeah, it, it's one piece plate on the top that is assembled and held down through the base. Oh, okay. So the whole vise is pretty modular. It's very rare if something gets damaged that you got to replace the whole vise. Gotcha. Nor, and you can get on their website. It's chipworkholding.com. Okay. And they have the exploded view of everything. So you can see all the cool little inner workings of them. And then if you get in their book here, it explains the flexibility of this system. We can set them up on horizontal tombstones that are rotorized. Now, is that four of these vices right here? Correct. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. it's four of them. And they'll, they'll engineer this whole system for you. Make it plug and play. Um, and then you can see here kind of the exploded view of it. If you already have a fourth indexer, we can get you just the rotary right. system. Right. So, so this is a this is a this is four of these vices on a rotary, and then uh, there's a tailstock tail and, a, and a tail to support it. And uh, Chick makes this setup here. Yep, they make everything from the faceplate on the rotary away. Gotcha. So they make the adapter plate to go from whatever faceplate you have on your rotary to what we call the trunnion, and then to your tailstock. So we could load multiple parts in there and have to have that machine running for yep. hours. Nice. Yeah, a, a lot of guys do that for their lights out, long cycle time stuff. Yep. You know, and then the guys who don't necessarily need all of that, but let's say you have a horizontal. We have systems ready to go. You can see here, the system lends itself to it. All the different shapes, mm -hmm. you know, holding round with this system is not a problem. Yeah, I see that. Wow. Yeah. Yep, that's something I'd never seen, and I wanted to ask more questions, and I thought the viewers might be uh, interested in that. Yeah. All right, well, what else do they make? You can see here more. This is a system called the multi-lock. So this is a double station vice, where this is what we call a single station because it is one opening. Mm -hmm. It is set up as a double station. You can get it that way. These come from the factory that way. Oh, nice. So... Both both end jaws move, and the middle jaw becomes the, your stationary. The middle is your stationary, and that's yep. your index point. Nice. So what a lot of guys will do is rough on one side, flip it over, finish on the other. Right. And you don't have to put these on a tombstone. You can lay four of these out flat on your table, mm -hmm. so you can rough and finish four parts in one operation. Nice. Now, how, now how does your pallet, uh, let's take a look at this pallet again. How does that attach on the bottom to... Uh, Oh, uh, your mill table. Okay. Is it just toe clamps or? This is kind of a bad display because like I said. You got carpet on that one. There's carpet on the back <laughs> of it because it is meant to be carried into people's shops. Got That's it. why it's aluminum and not cast iron. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, they're engineered for your machine. So it is in each corner and depending on the size that engineers how many there will be cap screws into a T-bolt system. Gotcha. If, if, but when you order it, you, they need to tell you what their uh, T-slot spacing is and you or will, what machine. You will tell them. The, they will not sell you a foundation unless you tell them what machine or you order it as a blank. Okay, guys. Well, I thought you would be interested in the vice. I, uh, Lewis, thanks for showing us all that. Um, no problem. Give I us no, a call. I, I had no idea anything like this existed, you know. yeah. These guys are dealers for... Uh, is it pronounced chick? Chick, yeah, just, okay. just like it looks. All right. So if you guys are interested in a chick vice for your uh, for your milling center, give the guys a call at All Industrial or go check them out on the web. It's allindustrial.com. Yeah, That's simple nice enough. And easy. Yep. Uh, but talk to Lewis. He's very knowledgeable and walked me through this whole thing. I, I found it very interesting. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Thank you.